Hi Lana, uh, welcome once again. Now we want to take a look at uh, the building and construction technology course. We are going to maybe dissect and understand uh, maybe the course requirements, right? How long does it take? What are some of the benefits of doing this particular course? And where can you do it or undertake it from? Like we have different event uh, technical colleges across the country. So which ones are the best ones that you can be able to uh, enroll in, right? And so on and so forth. So ideally, if you are, if you have interest in this uh, building and construction technology course, then I'll urge you maybe to stick to the end of the uh, to the end of this particular video, so that you learn uh, more. So ideally, I'm getting this information from our website. So uh, as well, I'll place the link to the website so that you can read along, right? And for those of us who prefer. Uh, maybe listening in then we can proceed so uh building and construction technology is one of the lucrative uh courses right now in our country here in kenya because you know that the kenya government currently is actually giving priority to construction and and building right so most youths have a priority or rather have a chance uh, to get employed to this particular construction uh, jobs. So this course offers a comprehensive education tailored to meet the evolving demands of the construction industry uh, here in Kenya. So ideally, because I know uh, most of us are interested in maybe understanding what this particular course entails. So ideally what you're going to learn is, uh, of course, you're going to understand your role as a technician. Uh, you are going to acquire skills required in problem solving uh, especially in design and construction of buildings. You're going to understand the principles of architectural design. Of course, you're going to acquire knowledge uh, required in management of building construction sites. Uh, you are going to demonstrate creativity and innovation in the use of ICT in the construction site. And of course, acquire a firm foundation uh, for further training on construction sites. Now, these ones are just a few. I know when you hit the ground and, starting, uh, and start uh, doing this particular task, you'll actually learn uh, quite a lot of things. So these are just uh, highlights. So I know you have been asking yourself, uh, maybe what are the requirements? Now, if you have a C minus, right, as you can see, uh, or you have a pass in a relevant craft courses, we had already talked about the bene uh, the best craft courses that you can pursue. So once you have passed, you can also uh, do this particular a building and, and construction. Now remember this is at diploma level for your information, right? And of course the qualification should be approved by what? By NEC. Uh, this particular course takes approximately three uh, years. That is for the diploma uh, option. So which units are you going to uh, be taught? So they are actually divided into two modules. So let's look at module one. Uh, you are going to uh, learn about building construction one, drawing, carpentry, construction materials one, construction plant, site management, ICT, entrepreneurship, education, mathematics one, and physical science. Number uh, Module two, uh, of course, this is a bit summarized. <laughs> this is now two, two, two. So mathematics two, building construction two, uh, computer aided design, this one allows you to draw and of course, building services, joinery, construction materials to uh, communication skills, right? So those are the key uh, diploma modules that modules that are going to uh, pursue. Now, I've also uh, maybe because of the interest of many uh, uh, followers of Learners Coach, I've also placed for you a free online course for building technologies actually a hundred percent free so i'll share the link of the free course within uh, the comment section or other description section uh, better still you can just come to our website and click on uh, this enroll now so let me just click on this enroll now and see where it's going to take us uh, to so if you click on enroll now uh, it should open for you uh, the page right uh, for this particular website uh, that is Allison, right? So give it time. All right, as you can see from the website, the website is called Allison, right? I've shared the link. Kindly click on the link so that it takes you to this particular uh, page, right? So this is a diploma, right? It's a diploma in 
uh, in introduction to a building uh, construction so you can see uh, you just need to click here to start a uh, course now it's very very free and you can see uh, 14,777 learners have already enrolled so you'll be amongst them now the good thing is that this particular course is very very free you don't need to pay anything so yours is just to click on start course now and you proceed with your learning so it's going to uh, of course it's not going to replace your normal uh, it's not going to replace your normal uh, learning within your institution but it's just kind of a, a boost right or you can just gain some additional uh, skills right as you can see from the website so you see it has module one structural design so kindly just take time and go through uh, it's going to take uh, approximately six to ten hours of learning, right? So you can enhance uh, what you've been taught in class uh, using this particular um, online diploma in introduction to uh, building. So check out, I'll share the link, right? It has uh, two modules, in fact, one module, uh, which is very comprehensive. And apart from that, you can also get other additional uh, courses that you can pursue here. All right. So uh, going back to what you are talking about, uh, the building and construction. All right. So let's take a look at the key competencies that as a graduate you'll acquire. Of course, after pursuing this particular course, you are expected to have some competencies in project planning and management. So graduates, as you can see, will contribute to the planning and of the construction phases, right? They'll also monitor project progress to ensure timely completion. So that's one uh, of the competencies. Of course, the other competency is to uh, have site preparation and supervision skills, right? So before commencing work within a site, what are the essential are things that you need to do to prepare for construction uh, site, right? So that's another competency. Of course, versatile roles. Uh, this particular diploma will uh, program will prepare you as a graduate into versatile roles within the construction uh, sector, offering flexibilities, right, within the career. Now the other one is accurate cost estimation. Remember, you're going to uh, understand about project budgets, right? And of course, how you can estimate project uh, costs with precision. Another competency is effective negotiation skills. Uh, this is very crucial when maybe you're purchasing the building uh, or construction materials, right? So ensure that you <laughs> purchase them uh, according to your budget. Uh, quality assurance is also another competency that you require. So ensuring that supplied materials meet quality of standards. You don't want a, a situation whereby you'll have a building collapsing even before you're done with your construction. So that is a very, very important. Now, uh, as we summarize this, so you need to understand which colleges offer uh, these building and construction uh, courses. Now, uh, pardon me, because I've really not exhausted these colleges. They are very, very, very many. In fact, almost in every constituency in Kenya, there should be a college offering building and construction technology. In fact, there are those ones that I always talk about. I've not even mentioned them uh, here. Uh, like the Sensei, they offer very good courses, right? Uh, we have the Nairobi Technical Institute. I've not even mentioned them here. So kindly uh, just go through. I've shared also a link here uh, of the institutions. If so if you click on this particular a link is going to take you to the inst various institutions that offer a building and construction technology course. So I believe at least I've uh, given you some eye-opening information about this particular course. And should you want to proceed with the f uh, this particular uh, course, I wish you uh, all the best. So kindly be part of this particular uh, community. All right, thanks.